Here we have to evaluate an integral. Uh, that is integral x to the third power positive five x plus ninety three over x plus two. Here in numerator we have a polynomial. In denominator is also uh, denominator is also a polynomial. So we divide the polynomial by another polynomial. And one more thing is uh, the degree of the numerator is three. The degree of the denominator is uh, just one. So whenever uh, we divide a polynomial by another polynomial in integration, and uh, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are equal, or the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, uh, the division of uh, the two polynomials can be written in the form uh, q of x positive r over uh, x positive two. Here, q of x stands for the quotient we get when I divide uh, the polynomial above by uh, the polynomial in denominator x positive two. And R is the remainder, and X plus two is the divisor over here. Okay, so we have to write uh, the division of these polynomials in this form. So once we write the given uh, division of polynomials in this form, easily we can integrate that. Okay, so to know what is quotient, what is remainder, uh, so I have to use long division uh, to divide. Uh, so the two polynomials. Okay, let me do it. Okay, here I am going to take this divide and inside the long division that is uh, x to the third power positive five x to the second power negative three and the divisor is x plus two, so it is taken over here. Okay, now in my first step, what I am going to do is I am going to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So when I divide x to the third power by x, uh, so it will result just x square. So that x square has to be written over here. Now I have to multiply this divisor by this x square. So when I multiply this x by x square, it will be x to the third power, and when I multiply this x square by this positive two, it will be positive two x square. Okay, now I have to subtract this expression uh, from the expression at the top. Since I am subtracting, I have to multiply this expression by negative sign. So already it's a positive x cube, it will become negative x cube, and uh, this positive two x square. When I multiply by negative sign, it will become negative two x square. So positive x cube, negative x cube will cancel out. And now let's simplify this one. Actually, this is positive five x squared. Uh, this is now this is negative x two x squared because we multiply this positive sign by negative since we do subtraction. Okay, positive five x squared and negative two x squared. When uh, when we simplify them, we'll be getting positive three x squared. And we can uh, bring the rest of the terms uh, down. Then we have negative three. Okay, now again I have to divide the first term over here uh, by the first term of the divisor. So when I divide three x squared by x, this x and square will cancel. I just get three x. So that uh, when I divide three x squared uh, by this x, I'm just getting three x. Let me write this positive three x over here. I have to multiply this x positive two by this uh, positive three x. So three x times x is going to be three x squared, and three uh, x times uh, positive two will be positive six x. Okay. Again, I have to subtract this expression from this one. Since we subtract this one, uh, we have to multiply the terms of the expression at the bottom by negative sign. So already it's positive three x squared. When I multiply it by negative, it will become negative three x squared, and it's uh, positive six x. And I multiply it by negative sign, it will be negative six x. So positive three x squared, negative three x squared will cancel out. So the resulting uh, expression is uh, we have negative six x and negative three. Actually, it was uh, positive six x. So since we multiply it by negative, it becomes negative six x. Okay, now uh, let me take the first term over here, negative six x, and it has to be rid of the first term of the divisor x. So then x x will cancel out. I just get uh, negative six, and uh, I'm not supposed to continue this step anymore because in this step I got the same exponent for x in numerator and denominator. Once I get the same exponent for x, I'm not uh, supposed to continue this process anymore. Anyway, so the simplification of this one is uh, just negative six. Let me write negative six over here. Now I have to multiply this uh, x positive two. Uh, by this negative six, so negative six times uh, x will be negative six x, and uh, negative six times positive two will be uh, negative twelve. So again, the same thing. I have to do subtraction. Now I have to multiply the expression at the bottom by negative sign. So negative times negative, it will become positive six x, and this negative twelve will become positive twelve. So positive six x and negative six x will cancel out, and negative three positive twelve uh, will be simplified to positive nine. So here, uh, this is a uh, quotient, and uh, this is a uh, remainder. Okay, now uh, let's write uh, this polynomial uh, uh, division as uh, let me do it integral. So q of x positive r over the given divisor, which is x positive two dx. Okay, in our problem, uh, the q of x equation is x square positive. 
three x negative six positive. So the remainder is nine over x positive two times dx. Okay, so integral x square positive three x uh, negative six positive. This nine over x positive two can be written as nine times one over x positive two and dx. Okay, now we can start integrating this stuff. So when I integrate this x square, it will become x cube uh, over three uh, positive. The integration of three x is three x square over two negative. Uh, the integration of six is just six x positive. Nine is a constant multiplied by the variable part. So we have to keep the constant which is in multiplication as it is. And uh, so to get the derivative of this one, uh, so we can verify. I mean, uh, we can uh, get the derivative of the denominator x positive two with respect to x. So what is the derivative of the denominator x positive two with respect to x? It's just one. That is uh, that we have in numerator. So the derivative of the expression over here is in numerator. So whenever we have the derivative of uh, the denominator is in numerator, so the integration of such fraction is natural logarithm of what we have in the denominator. So natural logarithm of x positive two. And at last we have to add integral constant positive c. So this is the integration of the given function.